This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. 1970, 76, 8... Last one was in 2010. It's not exactly clockwork, but... This town sees way more altered world events Thank you. than most. We knew it was just a matter of time before the lake acted up again. After the AWE in 2010, the FBC's research department set up a facility. The Lake House. To study the threshold in Cauldron Lake. Find better ways to contain the entity inside. Your tax dollars at work. When we detected a spike in paranatural activity at Cauldron Lake, before I even knew you were on this case, Saga. The lake house was my first stop. I was shorthanded, hoped they could spare some help, maybe give us some intel on the situation. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, Saga, I'd have just kept on driving. This is Agent Kieran Estevez responding to an AWE alert in the vicinity. I need to speak with the Marmons. So much for the welcome wagon. You all set up the perimeter. We're on the threshold's doorstep, so keep your eyes peeled. Yes, ma'am. Before I start, let me just see something here. I feel like is this not lined up properly? Ah, there we go. I figured as much. This shouldn't take long, okay? You see anything? Radio me. Why am I going in alone? The lake house was run by the research department. Research and investigations don't really see eye to eye. What they call science, I call a violation of bureau protocol and human decency. Classic interdepartmental drama, your FBI saga, you know how it goes. Now, in retrospect, my low opinion of the research department may have clouded my judgment. Damn, look at the reflections. Hello? Agent Kieran Estevez, Investigations Department. No one wants to check the individual carrying a firearm into a restricted government facility? No? Hello, and welcome to another exciting day here at the Lake House. As I'm sure you know, I am Dr. Jules Marmont, and this is my wife. Dr. Diana Marmont. And together, and we, we are, are the heads, heads of, of research, research at, at this facility. This facility. <laughs> we want to thank you all for helping us break new ground in our study of Cauldron Lake. That's right, Jules. But don't let our exciting work in threshold regulation and dimensional coupling keep you from observing the proper safety protocols. You said it, Diana. We run a tight ship here at the Lake House. So, always remember the three S's. Safety, security, and censorship. That's a C. It's 
to see. <laughs> Why not? That is the joke, Diana. Well, it's a stupid, f wonderful joke, Jules. We'll see you down there. <laughs> he voiced over. <laughs> yeah, that seems healthy. Hilarious. That's handy. It's a stupid joke. <laughs> Can't even get a damn snack. People still talk at water coolers? Dr. Marmont's not here. Nobody is? Hmm. I'll have to check downstairs. All right. An experiment that bodes well. Hmm. Changing passwords, huh? They must all be working on the lower levels. I'll need to head down. Uh, we're aware it can be a changes leading to remembering your password. We recommend permanent set of digits as the beginning of the password numbers that change daily. Not use birthday, the current date, phone numbers, etc. Remember that time being password not exceeding six digits. Hmm. Hmm. Fourteen, twenty, twenty three. There's something else around here? Oh, look at a happy couple here. Someone's breathing. I can hear someone breathing for some reason. Pretty.
Oh wait, what? Jesus Christ! Life is very interesting. What did we unlock just now? This? This should come in handy. Anything else to press the buttons on? Nope. Hi, Izzy. George the ghost. Hell yeah. George is still around. He's doing good. Waiting for a George merch. As soon as I got in that elevator, my bad news detector started going nuts. Estevesta team, something's going on in the lake house. I want all nearby agents to. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. Agent Estevez. in the lake house. All agents converge on the facility now. <laughs> Belay that order. Oh, shit. Where's the fucking elevator? Well. Okay, okay. Priority one. Get the lights on. Standing around in the dark near Cauldron Lake, they're not smart. Cyber the new age lingo? Damn. George says he's good without merch. After I explained what it, what it was, he said uh, he'll, he'll uh, thank you for thinking of him. Of course. I can never forget George. Way to go, lemons. Now we're going to die. One's breathing on me. What the hell was that noise? Need a higher clearance key card. What? I am clearance. That is not a regulation FBC weapon. Jules's key card could be useful. Make his 
things later. <sighs> the way I saw it, there was only one way out. Identify the source of the event and contain or eliminate it. Now, good news, I just had to keep going down. Bad news, the elevator liked to disappear. Screwed now. Gotta turn the receiver on. <gasps> At least the elevator's back. Is it? A lot of swooshing water. There is not back at all. Can't open it from the side. She told me there's a key card here. This key card won't get me in. Nice little pooper right here. First off, a huge thank you to everyone here. Uh, the Lake House has made amazing strides in researching the AWE here at Cauldron Lake. Great work, team. I wanted to come in person so I, I could check in on the latest work. I, I, I won't get in the way. It's, it's not our view, so no reason to be scared. Do you hear that, Dr. Marmot? While I'm here, I, I, I want to focus on the relationship between the shadow and the AWE site below the lake. The theory that the shadow even originates from the dimension this threshold is tapping into is compelling. Eventually, I want to understand how this dimension manages to convert subjective elements like art into objective reality. What are the constraints of this phenomenon? Can it say, create altered items or even objects of power simply by manifesting them via a piece of art? These are the things we need to 
know to accurately classify the shadow. I mean, that, that name is not very scientific. I mean, who came up with that? Shadow. So, any and all proposals are welcome. Uh, anything testing art's effect on reality by using the shadow's energy is preferred. Uh, to find answers, we'll, we'll, we'll first need uh, a, a lot of data. No wrong answers. And when I return to the oldest house, I'll take back anything we end up with to run against a classified project called Hedron to build a comparative data set. I, I, wish, I wish I could tell you more. It's a very, very exciting non-physical forces in Sorry, I, re I really can't. It is. Mm. You know what? Maybe some of you can come visit. We'll have to get you clearance, of course, but if that would... Maybe that can... <clears throat> you know what? I, 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 I don't want to take the entire day talking, so... The shadow represents a whole new area of research, and I, I couldn't be more excited to start digging in. It is a great new world, people. Nerd. All right. Elevator came back, so I guess we're just but I don't see it. I guess we'll just still head down there. No, she's a liar. Things are getting, music's getting more intense. That's good. I don't see anything. That's the save. This is where we watched the movie just now. Control switch.
Maybe it's inside? Ah! They're growling. If you can understand me, I am an agent of the paintings are alive. They're here to kill me. <laughs> All right. Well, the hell with that. Arts is here to kill me. What the fuck were those things? Hey. Hit it. You never really get used to the shit you see in this job, but you can learn techniques to adjust, to function. Take six deep breaths, then get to work. Six. Find the source, collapse the threshold. The hell? If you can understand me, I'm an agent of the Federal Bureau of Control. I can assist you if you take no hostile action against me or any action that can be perceived as hostile. Do you understand? <laughs> So what kind of entity are you? You can speak. That means you probably imprinted on a person or retained some of your former self's information. Previously human, maybe? Okay, I can work with that. I just had an unpleasant encounter with some other painted individuals. Any relation? What does that mean? Paint no brush a self portrait! Okay, hey, hey, calm down! Fire in his eyes and hands and bones! Oh. Bad news. That thing is really pissed off. Good news. It didn't try to kill me. Maybe stops. Angry living paintings are not typically on the Cauldron Lake bingo card. But something different was happening at the lake house, and I couldn't let it escape. Bright Falls didn't need this particular cherry on its already shitty Sunday.
Hmm. All right. Rudolph Lane stood back from the canvas. He didn't recognize the piece. Did he paint this? His mind was foggy, unfocused. He knew the Marmots were putting something in his food. A man in a white coat came to steer Lane back to his cell. He did not resist. He was too tired. He lay on the bed, but the stench in his cell wouldn't let him sleep. An acid stink. The turpentine, the paint, it was all over him. Years of it, a thousand paintings, a thousand more to come. A putrid weight he could never wash away. Cold hate simmered below the mist clogging his thoughts. Hatred for the paint, hatred for the brushes, for the Mormonts, for himself. Hmm. Diana and Jules Marmont had once been a team. Rising stars in the Bureau, both talented in their own way. Diana innovated and Jules got funding from the bureaucrats. Cooperation led to respect. Connection. Then after a decade of hard work, the happy couple were promoted. Co-heads of research. Their first years at the lake house were good. Challenging, but not insurmountable. Not for them. Gradually, thoughts fell into their heads like drops of dark water. Why does she get all the credit? Why does he get any credit? With that, a crack formed in the lake house. The Marmonts and their work became arrogant, erratic. The crack widened and the water seeped in. September 12, 2023. Notes regarding a page of an Alan Wake manuscript I found in the archives. I checked the records, and this page is not in our inventory. I believe it manifested inside the lake house directly. I won't be filing this page. It'll just send Jules into a panic. The page is written in Wake's usual style, so I can't say for certain if it's being literal or figurative when it calls us monsters. But what's interesting is that the page indicates that a painting succeeded in linking Cauldron Lake's threshold with our facility. Writing has always been the clearly superior avenue of research, but I never considered that the writing itself would dictate a different art form as a catalyst for our success. I cannot accept that. I can't allow Jules to stumble his way into success. Not after the years of work I put into this research. I got word yesterday that two writers are visiting Bright Falls. I will beat Jules to the finish line. Hmm. Sounds good, Lemons. Another movie. There was a crack in the lake house. The Marmonts had let the lake in, but the water could not flow. It became trapped, stagnant, went bad. The truth was controlled here. The art was not art, just content for the experiment. in the lake house the marmonts had let the lake in but the water could not flow it became trapped stagnant went bad the truth was controlled here the art was not art just content for the experiment
There was a crack in the lake house. The marmots had let the lake in, but the water could not flow. It became trapped, stagnant, went bad. The truth was controlled here. The art was not art, just content for the experiment. Please don't let this be what I think it is. As you know by now, typewriters and Cauldron Lake do not mix. And a room full of them all clacking away. 100% bad news. Seventh, two 2018. Notes regarding Dr. Emil Hartman, founder of the Cauldron Lake Lodge, where he manipulated artists in an attempt to control the power of the shadow. I've gone through his notes, which were confiscated by the Bureau after his arrest in 2010. Overall, Hartman's work was sloppy. Complete disregard for proper scientific method. But he was bold enough to try something we hadn't. Our procedural writing machines are promising, but we could understand the effects of Cauldron Lake's threshold much better by observing live artists in action. Thanks to Hartman, we even have a list of prospects. Next step is to send Dr. Darling a request to bring some into the lake house for analysis. Hmm. What the hell?
Wait. Say no to extra firepower. Huh. Back where I started. Spatial recurrence. Usually observes the law of three. This contrived overlap rebound it on itself. Compressing, compounding, reflecting, and refracting. An urban legend and a murder in constant imbalance. Cause and effect hopelessly tangled. Arranged wrong, the dream logic flawed, the feedback loop doubled and redoubled out of control. The pressure kept building, looking for release. Oh. Whoa, big guy and cat. Whoa, okay. Loop three should be the last one. I keep coming back to this page. The author's clearly awake. It's like he's warning us, but about what? I mean, what does it mean? 
This page scared Jules away from the work on Wake's writing. A coward can't stand risk. But science is risk. For me, this is proof that we are going in the right direction. I just need Rudolf Lane's paintings to lead to more pages so that hopefully one day we can understand. I keep coming back to this page. Locked. Maybe there's another way in. Two are not connected.
again. Alan Wake's writing is being studied here. Do you know anything about him? Names don't matter. A thousand more to come. They say clear communication is the key to any relationship. You and I have some work to do there. What happened to you? Did the people here do this to you? Marmons! Clogging his head! You said Marmons before. Do they do this? Where are they now? Misery! Hate! Tell me where they are! Christ. It's fixated on the Marmons. What did they do? Access denied. Ugh. This key card isn't going to cut it. A threshold is the connection between a foreign reality and our own. Now, they all have their own rules, strange as they are, but the further down I went, the more chaotic this one got. Clearly, this was the Cauldron Lake threshold, but something was wrong. Well, more wrong than usual. Sub-level one. the lobby. Great. Mm. Only one way to go.
wonder where I get access for others. Sub-level 2. Level-wide lockdown in effect. Please remain calm. Level-wide lockdown in effect. Please remain calm. Open while the floor is on lockdown. Finally! Someone who isn't a painting. <sighs> hey, hello. Who are you? <sighs> Sorry, I got a flow going. Can we do this later? No, we cannot. I'm Agent Kieran Estevez, I'm with the government, and I need your name. <sighs> I'm Ed Booker, the playwright. And I'm hitting my stride here, so can you guys stop with all that banging and screaming? It's throwing me off. Where do you think you are right now? In an immersive writing workshop. Well, bad news, it's not a writing workshop. Good news, it's not a writing workshop. Right. It's a government facility studying the power of creativity. That makes way more sense. Look around you. How is this a workshop? You have to stay in character. I get that. I'm in a theater business, too. And look, the sets, the costumes, all great in that, you know, campy, 70s sci-fi kind of way. But you could dial down the role-playing like 15, 20%. Just some professional advice. What are you even doing? What are you writing? Well, after you all abducted me in the woods, uh, I've been working on this manuscript you gave me because you need it for some experiment or something. I, I kind of forget the premise. But, you know, I've had this block lately, and filling in the gaps of this story has really loosened me up. Copying the style is a nice constraint, but I still have lots of room to play. It's a solid, creative exercise. Sir, whether you are aware of it or not, there is a situation here. I need you to stay in your cell until I can resolve the matter, okay? Uh-huh, got it. Hey, no one's been around with food for a while. I could go for some dinner when you have a second. Oh, and can I get my phone back? I want to call my wife. I don't know how Tammy found you guys, but she killed it. Five stars all around. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get right on that. Shadow monsters represent capitalism, which means the flashlight is the power of the artist. Sheer creativity tearing through the shadowy globe. Print cookie got a bullshit.
climate change, oppression, the disenfranchisement of immigrant minority populations, lots of heavy themes in a dark sci-fi wrapper. Love it. wonder what happened here. Jules Marmont looked at the painting. He didn't understand it. Saw only random whirls of color. Drugging Lane made him more compliant, but his work had turned abstract. Jules needed more art his team could parse, could test, trial and error. These abstract explosions of color complicated the data. His grip tightened around the letter opener in his hand. The piece of art he needed was hidden inside Lane. If Jules could simply cut the painter open and pull the painting out of him, he would. The overhead lights flickered. Jules would make Lane cooperate. No more drugs. Less carrot, more stick. Jules had to go faster. He wouldn't lose to Diana. Nothing else mattered. Anymore. I know you want me to paint, but I can't. I'm empty. Rodolf, no. You love to paint. And you are such a talent. This is just a classic artist slump. No. No. I. I hate it. It's just taking from me now. When can I leave? You said you'd let me leave. Ah, uh, Rudolf, but you volunteered to come, remember? We are helping you, like Dr. Hartman did. Perhaps you need to see our doctor? I can arrange that. No. No, that's... I am feeling better. Much better. I, I will paint. Ah, this is wonderful to hear, Rudolf. I knew you would come back to your old self.
access card. Sorry, but I need this. How many paintings do they have this guy make? I never understood why they put the boxes here where you can't even see inside the item. Like, I can't jump. I can't. I can never see what's inside this box. Was a week from this Friday. So it's 44 is right, but I guess you're telling me you don't know when our anniversary it didn't work. Block four is 44, right? Zero nine twenty one forty four. I certainly never forgot was a week from this Friday. Fourteen. Let me look at the calendar. Maybe the fourteenth isn't the fourteenth is also oh, twenty two. on the 14th. 
Effective September 13th. All computer passwords must be reset. We are aware that okay. We recommend permanent set digits. Do not use birthdays, the current date. made a reservation from our which I'd never forget was a week from Friday today's password is a date for our special on Fredo plus Today's password is the date of our special unforgettable anniversary plus round shape with horns. Anniversary is the base number, then black void. That big surprise. Password set didn't work. Black void is 44, right? From the list, Lane's painting. Need to get in or this is going to be a total waste of a Wednesday 44 is right I guess you're telling me you don't know what our anniversary is well good luck with that today's password today's password is the date yeah so the 14th Plus brown shape with horns. In that scene, a movie together does not begin with. Twenty five. Damn it. That's not right. Nope. Maybe it's not zero nine. Maybe it's actually just nine. That's not right. Nope. 
What? Oh. Those, uh, that's right. And there. Lockdown lifted. You are now safe to resume working. Escobar's come in. Facility. Sub-level one. You copy? No. Turn back. Area is extremely hostile. Fuck. Radios. They're on 401. I don't need help. the hell all right god damn you are now safe to resume working Okay. You are now safe to resume working. Yeah. 
God damn! evidence skewing our opinion but also i wonder if writing's very nature is an advantage the text can describe events in such explicit detail the story gives the shadow a how you say a blueprint a map of what to make real but not all art is like this uh, music sculpture, dance, cuisine, in our case, a painting. When the source material is open to interpretation, how will the shadow choose to interpret it? I think Diana will find the question very interesting. Most likely, she already has an answer. <laughs> That's why I love her. Kidding me? God damn! I don't know how much help I'm gonna be to my team. My team was on sublevel one and knew they were in danger.
fucking bastard. Jules Marmont killed my team. He was taken by the shadow. I'm sorry. I should get that gun while I'm up here. I mean, that, that name is not very scientific. I mean, I came up with that. Shadow. I'm wondering about you guys. Crap. Where the hell is the door? Bastard. Nothing in there. Oh man, I keep missing it. I keep forgetting it's not Damn button. Oh, 
Oh, it's right in here. Thank God. Well, crap. Double crap. There was a crack in the lake house. The Marmonts had let the lake in, but the water could not flow. It became trapped, stagnant, went bad. The truth was controlled here. The art was not art, just content for the experiment. The contrived overlap rebounded on itself, compressing, compounding, reflecting, and refracting. An urban legend and a murder in constant imbalance, cause and effect hopelessly entangled, arranged wrong, the dream logic flawed. The feedback loop doubled and redoubled, out of control. The pressure kept building, looking for a release. down to sub-level five. And this should get me past any other problems. Any health in there? Oh, thank God.
The shadow had changed Jules Mormont into a hostile, paranatural entity. That made everything simpler. No arrest, no paperwork. I could put him down like the monster he was. Please hold. Please this is not hold. level four. Please hold. Please hold. The Marmonts were holding a painter here. Rudolf Lane. Does that ring a bell? The shame of a man! I think you are... Or were Rudolf Lane. Himself! A self-portrait! Make them see! Look, I might be able to help you. But I need information, cooperation. No brush! Just himself! Lane was dying. Both murderer and victim. Red hues ran down his hands. Was it scarlet? Or cadmium? Too vivid to be maroon. Names don't matter, he decided. Color was pure. Inspiring. For the first time in years, he wanted to paint. A self-portrait. To say goodbye. No. To make them remember. To make them see what they did. He slapped his hands against the wall to steady himself. He began from there. No brush. Just himself. The strokes were crude. Violent. The pain, misery, and hate he'd endured there. The fire in his eyes and hands and bones all spread into the shape of a man. It was quick. Natural. Like a heart attack. He slumped down to the floor, smiling at the anger he left smeared across the wall. Press five. I didn't think you would take me to five right away. Hey, Knox. How you doing, buddy? What the? Is that meant to happen? the hell? I opened a door and it gave me another door? That was the fourth floor? You know, that's... Kind of like the third floor. Come on. Oh. Maybe I spoke too soon.
crap. You can't be here right now. more there this is the crop yeah this is the crossover DLC it's the final part I have to replay control I remember playing it that's all I got That's all I remember. So far, this is going very well. Well, that's a lot of them. I think it's in there. Not only they're after my ass. You are crazy people too. Bob! God damn it! Another one of those guys there. Well, I'm screwed. I'm dead! Yep. Yep, I. Yeah, I saw that habit coming. Blackrock powder. Need to keep an eye out for more of these. Yep. All right, let's see if this fixes itself. What the? This is for real. I hit this. Oh, all right. Diana you didn't even get to hear her story
Well. That's enough. Okay. A lot of ammo. And his men are trying to kill me in the painting. A regular day. Kill me, he wasn't even here last time. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I gotta not even kill me. You weren't there. Took you long enough. being plagiarized oh that is really fucking rich jules oh and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages i need for my work suddenly the exact pages that i need to reference have just vanished he is actively impeding critical bureau research i mean if he can do that then what is stopping me from going down to that lab and I, and I don't know, just inverting the amplifiers or misaligning the receivers or both. A light switch cord. It's the same thing in principle. He booked the lab. Some big experiment tomorrow. I can't find the details anywhere. That bastard is hiding. Quick lesson on light switch cords. All if those you find years, one, he steals pull it credit three from times. my ideas and my work, and now he's scared of being plagiarized? Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. Oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages I need for my work. Suddenly, the exact pages that I need to reference have just vanished. He is actively impeding critical bureau research. I mean, if he can do that. Then what? The Ocean View Motel is a dimensional intersection. The doors from the lobby can lead anywhere. But I didn't end up in the lobby this time, which was definitely unusual. Hmm. Very crazy. The controls like right around the corner now. Whoops. Close the door in my face. Who's that? Panopticon? But the Panopticon is at headquarters. Yeah. I'm outside. Agent Kieran Estevez, Federal Bureau of Control. Identify yourself. I'm it's 
quiet. Who are you? It's been a long time since I've seen anyone. There's a sign over there for the Panopticon. The Panopticon's only in New York, in HQ. Is this the oldest house? I think that's where I am. So you are inside the oldest house. Is anyone else alive? I can't. Of time. This is an FBC containment unit. Why is the Bureau detaining you? I'm where I belong. Everyone I meet here is either a painting or a paracriminal. Hey, this is important. FBC headquarters went dark four years ago. What exactly happened in there? We were attacked. What? No, not again. Not yet. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, stay with me. Stay with me. What attacked the oldest house? I need to know. Something's changing. Outside. Can you feel it? I can hear it. It's getting worse. You can't stay, can you? Hold on. I need to know if I can... Tell Jesse I tried. I really did. What the hell? Wrong. He booked the lab. Some big experiment tomorrow. I can't find the details anywhere. Is hiding them. All those years, that's so cool that you get like a that's so neat of them to give you like a sneak peek into their upcoming game I definitely have to replay control though. the door into Cauldron Lake's threshold. It was forced, it was unstable. Shutting the experiment down was the only option.
What the? Gimme, 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 gimme! lady after i was after i still didn't like the lady i was like damn what a lady tell you how it is <laughs> what the jules i'm down You are. Fortunate. I need more rocks. There's nothing in there. Talk about this. It's not good. I have no more of those thingies. God damn. Down. Time to move. I can do about that. Pro tip, don't miss. Off. 
What kind of goofy shooting is this? Where'd she go? I did nothing! Goggles do nothing! Out of my way, you silly painting. Oh, come on. with the other hook. Alright. Well. Maybe I just shoot her. Maybe I don't need the rocks. Yep, that works. Hit me? Turn it 
time for this. I need to shut down this threshold before it fractures. stood in the forest just outside of Bright Falls. She watched her team detain Alan Wake and Ilmo Kosky, stuffing them into black SUVs. She realized this was the moment Wake had been writing in the vision she had seen. The story was coming true. She pushed the thought out of her head. It had been a good tip, a way to find Wake. Nothing more. Alan Wake! After the Threshold event collapsed, I was back at Cauldron Lake. But for a moment, I was somewhere else. I saw Alan Wake there. He was writing about me finding him in Bright Falls, in the woods. It was a good tip. I called the surviving members of my team, and I told them to meet me there. You know, these cases, they never get less ambiguous or easier. This one, this, this was tough. Because protocol says entities like the Taken are monsters, threats. But the Marmots were monsters way before the Shadow got to them. So at the end of the day, what's the difference? Hmm. God damn. Something isn't right. It might be best to fill the test. Deep press. Six deep press. Forget all the rest. Roadblock. Feels like my heart already stopped. Too much stress. Bone through the set. Deep press. Six deep press. Forget all the rest. Go. I got let go. Of everything that I've ever known. Deep press. Slow. Gotta take it slow. Cause that's the fastest way that I know Deep press 
Cool.